it won't do a pre-roll for them or at least it shouldn't for people push the button on a stream deck or you press the button on the dashboard i did it on the stream deck use terminal logs let's just go upstairs do we have any side mission oh that works now yeah it does um also you can and you can set the time frame wait so did it work did it go through for you the program says it's only for partners yeah it does they haven't updated it because it's recent Seems did we've it? got a guest. So really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. One sec. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Um What was I saying? Um when I pressed it, did it put me above the chat and then it plays it in the center screen and then once it was over, bring me back down? So I like to yeah, I did one minute because one minute is twenty or this twenty is, minutes of no pre rolls. Needs is a proper refurbish. I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just two minutes. I think old. is forty minutes. Sorry, I, but that's sorry. kind of a long I'll, time. I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery. I'm on my best. Xbox watching. Oh, okay. Personification gotcha, gotcha. of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Okay. Now, what can I do for Hey, you? well, I appreciate your support for watch, for sticking with me while I, I got some water. Are you Reed? I was told that I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Uh, I'm not from around here. I think you have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Hmm, that's why. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. Oh, there. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Whoa. Uh, when you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. What a surprise. I never would have guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Why? Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. I've seen Edgewater. I don't blame the workers for walking out. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. It's a little bit too convincing. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. So we're forcing them back. All right, Reed, I'll see what I can do to help you. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. Parvati. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate that's, to um, ways with Miss Holcomb. It's Aloy. I cannot deny that she is talented. And, uh, and Chloe. useful to you. 
You will need from an uh, Life is Strange. In order to Same voice actor. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure, I could use the company. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad. She's probably one of my favorite of uh, female voice and actors. Thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. Companions. Hey, you've gained a companion. There are characters that join you in their adventures and help you in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. These goals enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat skills with the inspiration skill. Some people may require completing another quest before they uh, will assist you. You can check your quest log for dependencies. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Sure. What's up, dude? Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. Got my sights on you. Uh, anything in here? Boom. Wait, uh, there, there's also a way to holster your weapon. Let me figure that out real quick. Edit key binds. Inhaler is... F Panion attack just holster quick save F5 Howdy how deep are you into the game? Uh, I am currently one hour and 17 minutes But I would say about an hour with the starting time and creating my character and stuff So I'm really not far like I think I'm like level two right now um, I just got my first companion, too. So, wait, where's holster? Uh, R. So, I'm really not far at all. Just started, pretty much. Also, what's up, Vitality? How you doing? Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Yeah, of course we can talk. Can we talk? Sure. Come on. Come on. This game is also free for the PC Game Pass. I assume it is. Yep, it is part of a game Sorry. uh PC I, Game Pass. That's actually how I'm playing it right now. And you likely don't want to tag along. One hundred percent worth it. It's just Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job it's and, and what all. Not but bad. Just got home. That's from not the nice. only side of the tale. Good dear. No, uh, it's about the deserters. So what's on the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quietly. This guy is stuck. If it squeaks or stutters, staring. it gets replaced. It's actually kind of scary. The deserters are decent folk. What is he I doing? I knew some of them before they left. I don't trust this man. Can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big spacer's choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, He's nor still heat to cook. There. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Suppose it doesn't hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. <laughs> Alright. Um... Can we... Can you see them on the map? Oh, that's, uh... Wait, this is... The whole... This is the bounty one, right? Collect... The gravesite fees. Oh, right, right. Yeah, let's go do that, actually. Does that mean we're right here? Let's open this up. I'm fine, Mr. What's up, dude? Well, uh, did, oh, you're uh, Martin Abernathy. Did Mr. Ma Thompson Abernathy. Send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not tired. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Uh. Perception. You want me? To, you want me to tell you what's got you so nervous? 
You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into Everyone a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? So you're Martin Abernathy? What? No. I mean, uh, I might be. That depends on who's asking. Looking for trouble. I'm just here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Yeah, he does. Knows what? I'm dying. I'm oh. not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast Got everything I see your stream name. says cat Hey. SK Gaming, thank you for the follow. And welcome. You still got a couple decades in you? I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. It's technically technically it is cat sass or cat sass, either one. Has to be. Usually I go by cat though. He knows short. I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Sorry to hear that. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever the told me that. fam got to stick with each other? Oh, yeah, I'll man. Pay your fees. Absolutely. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could you excited really for Call of Duty? You picking it up? How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Uh, all right, I'll leave you be. Okay, give me a quest. Yeah, I actually got to go, uh, get my stream ready for nine. I call you. Catch you later, brother. Hey, man, I appreciate you stopping by and uh, thank you for the follow. And uh, I'll see you on the on the uh, battlefield once it drops because I'll be switching over there, too. But Conrad sells real good. Appreciate Please it, don't though. touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. All right. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Yeah, I'm a doctor too, my dude. Is next to lawfulness. You're talking to a medical assistant. Relax, I'm clean. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough <laughs> into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. Okay. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. What? You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Silas sent me to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Uh, you mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. Damn. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. That's got and a I big expire, uh, vocabulary. I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Don't be so hard on yourself. I have to be, if only to prepare myself for my inevitable dressing down at the hands of corporate. <laughs> Tell Silas I can't afford to pay and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction with my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. I'll just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid. Whoops. Uh, I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Got it. I better get a good haircut out of this. Uh, anybody else? Eh, let's. There is somebody. All right, so it's 8.31 currently at the time of this. So 
We have just about 30 minutes until Call of Duty drops. I'm gonna try to keep making some progress here. This looks like a long investment of a game. I really need another one of those. It is, but you the new worker. Whatever, make it quick. I loved foot. New I'm Vegas busy. and I loved uh, Fallout. So I mean, the game itself, supposedly the main story, takes about 30, 40 hours. But there's a lot of options, different endings, all that good stuff. I love that kind of thing. Need to knock out the shorter games in my backlog. Hey, I know that too. I have the same thing. Gravesite fees. I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it. If I've you only gotten one. On payment. <laughs> one so far. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid Oof. the bill. It's kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, mm. though. Eugene was a good worker. So this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. It's an awful thing to say. Must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. Thought you say you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. Oh my gosh. I'm the one who found him, you see, <laughs> so I pay the fines. What? Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. Wow. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. That's messed up. You can't be serious. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. Oh my gosh. In other gosh. words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Wow. He was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene, Eugene was an asset to a killed fall. himself. May his atoms be commended to the law. Um, what's your current All objective or overall Silas story? Asked me for Eugene's gravesite, so, piece, which means he was approved for burial. Which what's means that? his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. So pretty much, I'll let you get back to work. Um. Basically, the story is, uh, there's this guy in space, he's, there's like a colony that needs you, I guess, or like needs your help, and he selects you, that's you making your character, he's like, hey, all these people depend on you, he sends you to this planet, your uh, spaceship is damaged, he sends you to go meet with the guy on the planet, the guy ends up dying as you're landing, the ship, his ship is damaged, and now we're stuck here trying to find power for our ship so that way we can go around helping other people, like other colonies. That's pretty much the, the story. And then from there, it's just make your own character. Um, right now, what we're trying to do is get a power source for our ship so that way we can get out of here. Um, that was part of a, a side quest I was just at, though. So, what we have to do now is optional speak to Vicar. Deliver Reed's message. Stranger in land, divert power from. Okay. So, let's go to this one. And then Vicar Max is 100 meters away. Sounds like a Mass Effect and Drama plot. Sort of. Um, I think it's more closely to Sorry, I'm just yeah, a well actually yeah um, It plays like a, a fallout game though I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Is this like a, a church looks like it. All right. What's up vicar? What's up, dude? Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. A car Fantastic Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. 
Mm. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Ravadi wanted me to talk to you about Reed S about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. Oh, sorry. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage Why you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Whoops. Uh, fix the geothermal plant. That seems well within your expertise. The way we do it's by cutting off power to the others. The ones who left. Adelaide McDevitt. I didn't know that she didn't like him. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. I think that's what we'll try to do. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Okay. Uh, I've been outside. I'm not impressed. And I can handle... Uh, and why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. A handsome son, you say? Tell me more. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Okay. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Cool. So he's recommending that we uh, direct the power to Edgewater and then convince them to move back to Edgewater. And I think I actually know how to do that. So let's go talk to Adelaide, um, leader of the deserters, see if we can convince her. Perks provide unique bonuses for you and your companions. So you can have, there's six, up to six companions. Not sure who the other four or the other five are. Um, and you can have two companions equipped at a time, which is pretty cool. So, fast travel, fast travel. 